Howdy. This time I'm looking at Beast Wars Silverbolt. But before I start, I'll just say that my recommendations for these figures will take today's standards into consideration. Though they are 10 to 12 years old, you can still buy them off eBay or sites like that. Anyway, this silver bolt is part of the Fusor range, meaning that his beast mode consists of two creatures mixed into one. Here it's a wolf and an eagle. One review I read said that he looks like a mythical creature. I'd have to agree with that considering the way in which these parts are distributed. The mold and paint detailing is pretty good, especially with the feather patterns, talons and all. His head sculpt is really fierce too. Though his yellow eyes make him look more evil than heroic. He also has plenty of articulation, mainly in his forelegs. Questioning proportions is a little difficult for Fusors since they're meant to have our proportions anyway. But in this case, I'd say they work well overall. The only extras visible are the robot arms in front of the rear legs. Otherwise, he's very clean in this mode. For gimmicks, you can pull on his tail feathers, which makes his wings flat forward. Though it can be very easy to fire the missiles when doing this. The transformation is pretty clever in how the limbs swap places the way they do. The shoulders clip onto the body securely, but the waist halves don't connect very solidly. When transforming him, you can see his maximal energon chip here. The robot mode looks very nice and bears a strong resemblance to his CGI counterpart. His proportions are great and some more paint and mold detailing is revealed when you pull the wolf head down. The wings look okay here, but I'd have liked it if they'd filled naturally into a backpack, like they did in the TV show. You can fire the missiles in this mode by pressing this button here, but they can also fit in his hands like swords except they look more like clubs. I prefer them as missiles. Finally, he has a bit more articulation in this mode. The wings can cause balance issues though, given how large they are. Also, when posing his legs, his waist is prone to falling apart. You could add some nail varnish on the connectors to fix this problem though. Overall, even by today's standards, he's still a decent figure. The waist could connect more solidly, and the wings cause posing issues with the robot mode, but otherwise I recommend him without regret. Next I'll be reviewing Movie Camshaft, but until then, till all I want.